Hello, Chris. Hello, Kat. How are you? I'm good. Good. Did that look like it took some thought? Yeah, it was very considered opinion. It was. I'm, I'm not entirely sure that this isn't maybe an ambush wedding proposal. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It is. Woo! You caught me. Oh my God, my mom's going to be so happy. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pair you up with um, the hottest little piece we have here in uh, SEG. The Giga 5. Yeah. Wow. I don't know if this has been yet made legal, marrying an object, but if so... It's Washington. Yeah, I think yeah. you should be able to go for it. You know, and I got a trophy. Spouse? <laughs> exactly. There is no gender with a Giga 5. All right, so this is the this is the, really the top of the line, like the um, uh, Bentley? Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. A Maybach, maybe? Oh, you know? Yeah. I, could be one or the other. That's way above my pick. <laughs> I'm, uh, I speak Bentley. Got it. Okay. Yeah, I speak Giga, but All right. you know. Yeah. Um, I call it the twofer, actually. Oh. Yeah. Okay. I know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to deviate a little bit, and I'm going to tell you its nickname. Let's hear it. It's the twofer. Twofer. Yes, because do you see this? Two bean hoppers. Okay. Mm-hmm. 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 Two grinders. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, it's got a two-stage frother. So when you're making a milk-based drink, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to see this little rat tail of, of steamed milk, and then it's going to switch right in front of your eyes, and it's going to become foamed milk. Whoa! Oh, no. And in case you're actually married to a real person and not a Jura, <laughs> you know, if that's your thing, um, you can make two milk-based drinks at a time. Oh, my God. Or only one. You're blowing my mind. I, know. I did not know that. I've got one in a box for you. Don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. <laughs> so I call it the twofer. But okay. before we get too distracted, Let's... let me just tell you about the two okay. hoppers, okay? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, little hubcaps for your uh, Maybach. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm Okay. The bean hoppers hold about... Not, well, not about. They hold exactly 9.8 ounces. 9.8 so ounces. So a little bit okay. over a pound each. You want to fact check that? Uh, that would be a little bit over a half a pound a each. A half a pound <laughs> each, yeah. Whoa, okay. Math and in the they're, morning. they're really heavy, too. And yeah. they have like a kind of a magnetic It's stainless steel. And story. it's got an airtight um, seal on it there. So it's okay. not going to let your beans stale out. Because, you know, that is a half pound of valuable beanage. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to waste it. Crew. And... The grinder? Yes. Ceramic. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And I'm telling you, I mean, I've, I've used Juro's for years and years and years. Mm -hmm. This makes a better shot of espresso. Wow. To my totally Bush League palate. <laughs> okay. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> All right. So back up here, we've right. got a water reservoir that's 87 ounces. It's a bad boy. A big bad boy. Yep. All right. I can't lift this with my left hand. It's in my pocket. Okay. Um, and it's not strong enough. I have to use my right hand with that guy. It's huge. Over That's here. kind of a personal thing, though. It is. If you go to the gym, maybe. All right, we have our scoop. Got our scoop. <laughs> because, you know, you've still got your grinder bypass. Cool. So not only do you have two bean grinders that mm -hmm. you can use different beans in. So if you want to do a split shot or if you want to do your single origins in one and... A blend or something. In the other. Or okay. another single origin and blend your own. Oh. You can totally do that. Fancy. Oh, we'll get there. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. And then you've got a third option here. So okay. Lots of variety in this machine. All right. <clears throat> and I guess really, I would say the ba the bypass maybe in this particular model would mm -hmm. be good for flavored coffees because I always want to take the opportunity to encourage people not to put the flavored coffee into their super auto grinder. I think that, that would be a good idea. <laughs> I'm, still, I'm still looking for the trap with flavored coffees. I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm just saying, I'm just saying, like, pre-ground hazelnut flavored in there. Okay. I feel like I might get fired if I agree to that. What are you talking about? <laughs> flavored coffee. <laughs> All right. Um, and then under here, you've got your dregs box. Okay. Okay. And it's it's pretty substantial. It's going to hold about 20 different uh, pucks for you. So okay. you can make a lot of drinks. Mm-hmm. Splash guard. I like that. I know, right? Makes this it easier is, to clean. It does make it easier to clean, although you need a little dexterity to put it back up. The reason I took it off before I pulled out the dregs box is because uh -huh. if this isn't just so, you're going to get a little bit of, yeah. and 
Yes, I have seen that go flying across the floor a few times. I have picked it out of the trash once. Right oh now. my gosh. Yeah. Let's get rid of this thing. Um, this still has the uh, internal only brew group that yes. you cannot get at. Do not take it out. Okay. It's, it's low maintenance. Got it. You know, for something so pretty. Yeah. Pretty low maintenance. All right. And then what is this where, this is sort of the one-stop shop right here. This is, this is extraction. all of your coffee, all of your milk. Um, okay. Coffee comes out the front, mm -hmm. milk comes out the back. Got it. Um, you've got your butterfly mm -hmm. assortment there, so you can, you know, do one cup, two cup. Nice. All you need is another two cup. Cups, right. Look I am checked that. out on this equipment. Okay. <laughs> and then you've got your independently floating hot water tap over here. Nice. Yes. So if you want a little bit of hot water, or a lot of hot water. <laughs> you can, depending on the size of your cup. It really is. And I mean, this is, you know, both sides are going to handle a big cup. Okay. You can do. Definitely a to go. In, six inch. Yeah. Six inch. Okay. 12 ounce cup. Okay. Yeah. So it'll definitely go American size. Cool. Mm -hmm. All right. So now let's get into the fancy schmancy elements that so we've got this very sexy looking menu here. Yes. Um, so there's so much to that menu. All right. Let's I, dive into it. I apologize. Now I know I'll forget something. Okay. Okay. Well, first and foremost, top yes. of the top of the heap there, you've got 50, 50, right? Mm -hmm. So you can actually take your two grinders and tell the machine how much you want out of each grinder. Okay. This is something that you have to enable. You either you either have this up front, mm -hmm. or you can program in your your percentage from each grinder by drink. Oh, okay. Um, and again, if you want to do your split shots, mm -hmm. zero percent out of this, which I guess ostensibly in my house would have a single same. origin. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> um, mm -mm. And it's just a matter of toggling back and forth. Okay. Um, and then you know your most made drinks up front there. But if you want to go into your full menu, you've got all the drinks that this will do. And if you see up top there, it says six out of 29, seven, eight out of 29. It's just a lot of drinks. Yeah. And some of them are just doubles, but you know what? Some of them are a little crazy. Some of them, I think we're getting to the little crazy ones. What's there a pepper so? It's like espresso with pepper in it. Mm-hmm. It's out of control. I think there's chocolate in it too. Um, yeah. I really want to meet the person who designed all these <laughs> drinks because <laughs> they're a little, they're like a different, they're like a different approach to reality. And I can really appreciate that. You know what? It's not just for breakfast anymore. <laughs> it's, not. it's not. I mean, it's did you for see every Irish coffee? Mm hmm. Pepresso? Yes. Yes. <laughs> um, so you can go in and there's an, a menu where it will guide you through everything. Um, yes. But as far as just the traditional drinks, how do I go in and program this stuff for my own personal preferences? For your palate? Mm hmm. You hit the programming button. Okay. And it's going to take you into the back menu here. Mm hmm. Um, first page it takes you to is kind of a, a cleaning and maintenance uh, menu. Okay. It gives you a little status as to how, how far you are between, you know, cleaning cycles, descaling cycles. Mm -hmm. um, you can manually rinse the milk system here, coffee system, and clean the milk system. Okay. We don't want to do that. We want to go into the expert mode. Mm -hmm. And this is where you have all of your, your drinks that you're going to program. What oh. would you like to program? Let's program, um, let's do a milk drink. How about the latte macchiato? Uh, very good. Okay. That's a good one. Right. Okay, so you push the button and it's mm -hmm. going to take you into the options that you have for that drink. You've got volume mm -hmm. and that's for your coffee, amount of milk, mm -hmm. amount of foam. And that's because this has the two stage frother. Okay. So you get to tell it, you know what? I want it more foamy. I see. I want it more heavy milk. Um, okay. You can choose your coffee strength, the temperature. What do we have this set up? So it's just choosing really? from beans. Who did that? I don't know. Some kind of fool. There, let's save that. It was a test. Mm -hmm. It was. We just wanted to have an action shot there. <laughs> High temperature. That's good. Um, now, and again. Do I have a choice between different temperatures on this guy? You do. Actually, you can actually, you can go through three different oh, temperatures. Oh, okay. So low, normal, and high. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Yep. We're going to leave it on high. It's, it's getting into fall. Um, what about, and then when my, what, do, what are these milk stories over here? So the milk stories, you know what, this is, this is one of the things about Jura that I find confusing. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's programming your milk volume by time. Okay. And again, I'm sure somewhere there's a very elaborate spreadsheet that tells you how many ounces of milk <laughs> four seconds is. 
I have not committed that to memory. Okay. So <laughs> I will show you how I like to do that. Cool. Because it's much easier. All um, right. Let's see. Anything else you want to see in here, though? Um. Well, wh what else do we have in our menu area aside ah. from um, programming drinks? So if we go back, we had a maintenance area. We have drinks. Mm -hmm. You could set the coarseness for each grinder. Oh, so this is where you handle the grind consistency. Mm -hmm. Oh, yep. okay. Not yep. a little dial. Cool. Not a little dial. All right. And I'm pretty happy with what it's been doing, so I'm going to leave it right there. Okay. Um, you get independent control over each one. So if you do have a different bean, mm -hmm. uh, we have we have the same bean in ours. Okay. But um, if you did have a different bean, you could actually do each one separately because one might be a little bit oilier, so need a little bit coarser setting than the other. Okay. Um, and then this is just the basic... More maintenance settings. Setting story. But also some lifestyle settings. Oh, okay. Time and date and mm -hmm. timer. Okay. So when you go in here, you actually get options to, you know, put your date in, which is important because if you go back, you can turn on your timer and tell it what time you want it to come on every day of the week. Oh my god. So if you set it for Monday, and just every crazy. Monday should start off just smoothly. Yeah, exactly. And let's, let's be real here. We, we get up kind of early. <laughs> Uh, one we more. Take it okay. down to five thirty. Meow. <laughs> so we can turn it on at six thirty, and that mm -hmm. way it's going to be ready to go okay. when we wake up. We'll save that. Oh, and you know what? I should go back in there and just show you. You can do that for every weekday. Okay. Automatically, just by pushing that button. So now every weekday it's going to come on at six thirty. Did that? Was there an auto off as well? Did yes. I see? Okay. Yes. So you can say come on at six thirty, and then turn off at. Uh, 8.30 in the morning because I'm left yes. the I'm left home. I'm gone, yeah. Got Gotta it. go to work. Gotta pay for this bad dog right exactly. here. Exactly. Mm -hmm. All right. And then there's the ultimate switch off after, which okay. again, we have set for 10 hours because we're here all day. Mm -hmm. And we want to make coffee mm -hmm. all day long. <laughs> okay. All right. And then energy saving would just be kind of slow its roll a little bit without mm -hmm. turning it off. Okay. Yes, it does. It, it kind of takes it down to a sleep mode. It does have a zero power button Okay. on the back. So you can, you have on and off here, but you also have no, no, really on and off on the back. Don't take any energy at all. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then what else do we have here? Aha, here we go. Okay. Choose language. So, uh-huh. Mm -hmm. We've got a few options here. What, six there and another five? Okay. Let's, let's put it to Svenska. Um, can you get it back out of Svenska? Because <laughs> I'm not sure I can. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Svenska. We could put it in, you know, Dutch. <laughs> um, okay, so you can choose whatever oh, from a bunch of different languages. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. How do I go back? How do you get out? We have to choose one. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's like you must have some language. Yes. Okay. Um, the display. You can mm -hmm. actually... Choose your backlights because you know what? With a machine like this, you actually get a little mood lighting with your... Nice. Yes. Okay. Um, so you can choose the backlight up here. You can choose the intensity of the lights down here. You can choose the contrast it's so that you've got... Hmm? They're running lights, Chris. They're running lights? Mm -hmm. That's that's what we're calling them. Yeah. <laughs> we're all the way up. See, now we're... Oh, okay. Dim lighting for that room. Mm -hmm. Romantic presso presentation. <laughs> oh, my. I might need a minute after yeah, that. Yeah, I'll give you a moment. Okay. Collect yourself. All right, we're back. Okay. Okay. Ooh, I'm refreshed. Um, and then what are these guys over on the right? That's that's the money right there. So okay. beans a la carte mm -hmm. is what gives you the ability to choose your beans up front. So that 50-50 from each grinder, Okay. that's the beans a la carte. If you so make that it inactive, that goes away. Okay. So then when we went to the main, when, when we go out, we won't see those percentages? Right. Okay. And then what's barista? Barista is what gives you all those um, big sexy drinks at the back end of the menu. <gasps> oh. So if we make this inactive, it's going to take our 29 drinks down to 17 drinks. I see. So there's Don't not like a little, 17. there's not a little dude in there like, you know. You know, <laughs> actually, there was, yeah. <laughs> but the grinder, you know. Oh. Oh, you went I was somewhere. just talking about the apron. Oh my just gosh. The apron. Just a lot of work environment. Yeah. <laughs> so if we save that and then go out of this menu by pushing the P button, you'll see that the percentages have disappeared. Are gone. Okay. And when we dial in, we've got 17 options 17. instead of 29. 
Okay, so it took away the crazy drinks, yes. basically. So if you're gonna if you're gonna say, you know what, I'm never gonna have like you know ground pepper by my espresso machine <laughs> or some you know freshly grated chocolate, you could just simplify. Or yes, yeah. you okay. could you could totally just go with the core menu. Let's the core call it menu. Core menu. I like that. Yeah. Okay. Um. How about you? Can you make me a latte macchiato? Yes, I can. Okay. Yes, I can. Are you ready? I am. I'm like okay. getting in on it. All right. Here we go. My, my work here is done. Mm -hmm. I'll see you later, Chris. Thanks right, so much. Peace. So you're going to see the milk come out first, which is common with all the Juras. And I'm going to adjust this on the fly, which is another thing that I like about the Juras, because I don't think that four seconds of milk is quite going to cut it. Oh, okay. But there's the thin steamed milk. So you're going to adjust it up here? Yep. And you'll see the oh, you're getting extending there. it. Got it. You've got a little status bar here that says I'm done, and I've moved on to foam, and the status bar is now up top because that's where your foam is going to live. I see. Hmm. Yes. Now the benefit to this two-stage frother is that when we drop our shot into it, mm -hmm. I'm going to pull that forward just a little bit so we have a little a little drama here. It's going to drop right down into the middle of those two layers, so right about there. Yes. That's beautiful. And three ounces is probably a little much for this cup, so I'm just going to push a button to stop it and, and interrupt you just the cycle. Pushed up here. Yep, and you could push any button. Any button stops it. Okay. Yeah, you know, some people panic and push the off button. <laughs> yeah, that button <laughs> also like works, me. but that really—that's <laughs> only me. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I can All right. tell you're a really calming influence in the kitchen. Mm, yeah. Yes. Right. Okay. So, what do you think? It looks gorgeous. Would you How think does it's it my taste? first day? <laughs> it's not. How does it taste? Yeah. Well, it's very hot. Yeah. Yes. I would sip this. You want to take a taste? It's Please. Nice and strong. All right. A little foamy. And you know what? Hmm. You can hardly even tell that that's two percent milk. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Yummy. That's good. All right, cool. So this is the, seriously the big bad boy of the Jura world, the this Giga. This is the big bad boy. Five. Of the, yep, it is. Um, what uh, What do you like about this machine? What's there not to like? Really? Yeah, I mean, really, it's the twofer. Come on. Yeah. You know? It's two of everything. Um, what? I don't have to pre-grind my, my decaf if I want to coffee late at night. Exactly. I can just go ahead and grind from that side. That's, that's fine. I love that. Yeah. Um, is there anything you don't dig about it? Not so much me because mm -hmm. you know I'm I'm pretty easy going. Yeah, you believe that, right? Mm -hmm. Should I wink? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna wink. I'm easy going. Okay. But one of the cons that that we hear from customers is uh -huh. that you know what, as easy as it is to clean the grinder just by dropping a, a tablet in there. Yeah. The milk setup a little bit different. You know, you have to clean the milk yeah. frother. Um, it's gonna tell you that it wants to be rinsed, mm -hmm. and that's pretty easy. It's really just going into your programming menu. And, and hit and rinse the milk system. Okay. We can pretty much all roll with that. Yeah. But when you want to clean the milk system, it's a little bit more of a process. And, and it will take two minutes out of your life. Oh, But okay. the return is so good. <laughs> and it tells you. It's like, it's going to take two minutes. Do you want to start? Sure, let's start. And it says, add some, add some cleanser for me. I see. And so you're going to put the cleanser into the, um, the container over here. Yeah. You know what? And what I do is I just drop it into a frothing pitcher because mm -hmm. look what I don't need a frothing pitcher anymore because I yeah. got my milk on the side refrigerated. Yes. That's extra. <laughs> but if you're getting the giga, you're going to yeah, get the extra. Exactly. Right? Um, so you drop this into your frothing pitcher with your cleanser and some mm -hmm. hot water, push the button, and it draws it through, cleans all that good stuff up for you. So it's ready got to it. go again. Okay. So it does have a, a built in system for you to do. It's just that it takes a little extra time. Yes. Yes, cool. and you know the the con really isn't so much the time mm -hmm. for our customers. It's really more a matter of well, is this is this good? Is this safe? Is that sanitary? But yeah. the best practice really is to use a shorter tube. Okay. You know, if you use a shorter tube, you've got a lot less area for the for the milk to get trapped in. You know, uh -huh. I mean, you're gonna get a little suction when you rinse it. Yeah. If you're trying to pull milk up and out, it's not gonna it's not a long enough cycle to do that. Got it. So shorter tube helps you kind of get that milk cleared. Cool. All right. All right. That is the Giga 5, the uh, fancy pants from Jura. It's the gigantic model. Oh, yeah. that's nice. Yeah, I did that. Thank you, Chris. Thank you, Kat.